finally, 151 years ago, justice being found, justice is going to be achieved, and we are ourselves to always be where we were 151 years ago. We've always been a government, and no one will ever take that from us. We are the only truly recognized government province-wide in this country of Canada. That is a powerful statement being made by Canada. This is a le legal, legitimate document. And I hope, I hope that every party listening out there, Conservative, NDP, Green, you name them, if they're listening out there, I ask you now, if you're going to challenge this agreement, challenge it now, before the elections. Challenge it before all Canadians and all Manitobans that you do not believe in Métis rights. Because if this comes to pass, I better not hear a government coming against us later saying they don't recognize this agreement like they did to us in Kelowna. This cannot happen, and we can never allow it to happen. One thing they must remember, there is nothing in this country that's ever been given to the Métis Nation without us fighting for it. Nothing. Everything we've achieved, we've fought for. Everything we've achieved, we had to vigorously put our plans together and unite ourselves to fight for a common cause. And we've been successful, although when they think they better understand one thing, we never give up. 151 years, we didn't give up. 142 years in the courts for land claims, we didn't give up. It took us 32 years fighting in the courts to win our land claims. They better understand the Métis Nation, the true Métis Nation of the Red River that we will not give up to anyone, whether it's any party in this country, even liberals, we will not give up to no one our rights and our place in confederation. It is ours, we earned it, we bled for it, and we died for it. This is a country we built, a province we had built as a people, and we will defend it with everything we got. And I'm so proud to know that we have a government that finally, a prime minister we prayed for, and I pray a lot. People understand that. I pray a lot in the evenings. My wife can attest to that. I pray at night before I go to bed, and I, I say good morning to my mom every day. And I always ask Riel to guide me with the proper words, the proper me message that I should bring to not only my people, but to the country and to the world, who we are and what it is we are fighting for. Where, why is it we fight vigorously to find our place in confederation? Why is it so important to us that we be recognized as a self-government? We've always been a government. I've told this to, Carolyn knows my position on this. I don't need a federal government to recognize me as a government. I am a government. But on the legal format of this country, how it's built on the concept of its laws and its processes, it only makes it easier when a federal government comes on board to say, we recognize the self-government of me. And this is now. I don't have to climb any other hopes. We are moving on a next phase of the treaty. And I want to say this to the people listening at home. This is not a treaty that you'll fall under the Indian Act. We are not First Nations. We're the Métis Nation. This treaty we are moving on and anticipate by the fall, we will get it passed in Parliament. This self-government document, which is official today, stands very clear The Federal the Crown, says the Métis government is the government of all Métis people in the Red River. That is who we are, and that is what we are going to stand to protect. And I want to thank you, Carolyn, for not backing away ever on this issue, standing up, fighting for our government, as we had some fisticuffs back and forth, uh, but at the end of the day, we came to a conclusion. But I want to thank people. It's very important in our culture we thank the people that are out there. I want to thank the bureaucrats that nobody talks about sometimes because we politicians sit at the forefront of everything. I want to start off by thanking my own team first. I want to thank, of course, Al Benoit. He had an operation. He can't be here today. He's at home. And he's probably sick as sick can be beyond his, his own pill of uh, uh, really being uh, uh, going through a challenge after the operation. Uh, to be here because he helped build this entire document we're about to sign, which is this nice, beautiful document. It's going to be gray and then we sign it officially. But this document is the document that makes it clear that the Crown makes it very clear, legitimately, legally, that the Métis government represents self-government for all Métis people in Manitoba. And I don't have to change my constitution. I don't have to change the definition. The definition is what we accepted in 2002. That is the definition we have. And we can accept our people from the Red River, no matter where they live, whether they live in the West, whether they live in, in, in Germany, if they moved out there, whether they lived in the United States, they can always come home. That's the beauty of the self-government. They will always be able to come home. So thank you, Al, for all that hard work you do. Jim Aldridge is out in England, I believe, uh, our lawyer. 
he moved out there. I want to thank him. My, Michael Welters, Marie Trackingbird is here somewhere in the crowd. There he is, David Gray, Genevieve, our new lawyer, Métis lawyer, one day will be fighting at the forefront. Stand up, Genevieve, your, Al's daughter. She'll be fighting for her Métis rights. Zach Harder, a new young, yep, and comer, uh, a nice, a great policy writer. He's somewhere, there he is. Uh, he sits like he's 80 years old, but he's still a great uh, policy writer. And of course, my brother, Mark LeClaire, who is always at the forefront somewhere fighting for our cause. Mark, it's always have an honor, you and I, to fight for a cause. And for Canada, on your behalf, uh, Minister, I'm sure you're going to thank all of them. Joe Wild, uh, Deborah Korber, Lee Grigas, Christine Evangelist, and the list goes on. So I want to thank each and every one of them in Ottawa. Uh, for fighting the fight, but working together, united to find the common cause to agree with disagreement. So I will be speaking more at the end, uh, but I want to make it very clear. This is something that no one else has in this country. And it's something that I think the, the country is proud of. I think this government is proud of. That the innovation, the ability to think outside the box is finally being looked at sincerely by a government of Canada. The traditional way would be uh, 20, 20, 50 years of negotiation before we achieve a, an arrangement. This took a year and a half maybe of negotiation, Carolyn. And other agreements, if you've seen in this country, have taken decades upon decades to achieve. And it shows if you have your mind in the right place, your heart in the right place, you can achieve anything in this country we call Canada. And it's very clear that this is just the beginning. The, we'll be talking about taxation, we'll be talking about fiscal transfers, but at the end of the day, Canada will always treat us as a government, not an organization, not a corporation. They will treat us as a government. And I expect Canada that you, Carolyn Bennett, along with these four powerful MPs here from the Liberal Party of Canada, will send a message to all bureaucrats. We're not an organization anymore. We never have been. You forced us into that position. We are a government. We've always been. And our veterans have proven that over and over again, fighting for the cause somewhere for our country they love. Now it's time that the Métis Nation are back home where they belong, sitting in the table of Confederation and being part of self-government. So my friends, my, on behalf of the Cabinet, on behalf of our Métis Nation across this beautiful province, I'm so honored and so proud that we've done this man, Riel, Louis David Riel, that we have bought justice for him. Even though we bought, we bought justice in this land claim, we achieved that at the end. They didn't want to recognize this government when he formed this government right here in this ground 151 years ago. Again, we bought self-government home to him that we are now there truly recognize the self-government, which they wouldn't give him 151 years ago. So again, it's something to be very proud of and I look forward to the signing and I look forward to the message by Bennett and then of course Danny Vandell and me and Leah are just eager to put our ink on the piece of paper to officially ratify it that once and for all, There'll be no doubt in this country that the MMF is the government of the Red River Métis and will always be there to protect our people. And as you said, Elder, we'll always have their back. Thank you very much.